Joel Rosenberg, author of Epicenter, Why the Current Rumbling in the Middle East Will Change Your Future, has written in his book that President Tom has said that there is a three-year timetable. What, what do you mean by that? Well, Glenn, uh, President Ahmadinejad in Iran, after he came home from his speech last year at the United Nations, saying that he was surrounded by a halo of light and that everyone wasn't blinking uh, while he spoke, so mesmerized were they by his words, he was telling people that he believed that the world had only two or three years until the end of the world, until the coming of the Islamic Messiah, and that it was his job to hasten the coming of the Islamic Messiah by launching a global jihad to destroy Israel, the little Satan, and the United States, the great Satan, in his view. That was a year ago. We are, therefore, by his clock, his timetable, uh, only a year or two away now, I guess, from the end of the world. I, I have to tell you, this guy is, I mean, when you think about him, he was, what, a year, two years ago? He was the mayor of Tehran. <laughs> Right, right. He Taking moves. care of parking tickets and taking out the trash, making sure the trains run on time. Right. Now he believes that the wind is at his back and that Allah has chosen him for this moment to annihilate Judeo-Christian civilization as we know it. Well, he is, I mean, he is very good. I mean, look at the way, if, if and maybe it's just me, Joel, but this guy has surrounded Israel, and brilliantly so, and yeah. I believe with, uh, with uh, Cuba and Venezuela, he's doing the same to us. Well, it's amazing. Ahmadinejad, who no one in the world basically had heard of a year ago, uh, it now has uh, alliances with three nuclear powers, Russia, China, and North Korea. I detail this in the book Epicenter. And I got to tell you, Glenn, the most dangerous relationship on the planet right now is Russia and Iran. Putin has joined the axis of evil. Uh, he has Putin sold a billion, is, yeah, a billion Putin, dollars worth of arms to Iran. Right. And this happened... They signed this deal um, right after um, Ahmadinejad said, imagine to his people, imagine a world without the U.S. It Absolutely. is coming, right? That's right. That's right. The same speech in which Ahmadinejad gave last October, in which he said, we're going to wipe Israel off the map. He told the Muslim world to envision a world without the United States and said it will happen when our holy hatred wells up like a wave and strikes at the West. And a month after that, Putin signs a $1 billion deal to arm Iran with missiles and high-tech weaponry. That is not a partner for peace. That is not a friend. Russia has just joined the axis of, axis of evil. And President Bush, I'm, I'm going to have to say, has got to deal with this new reality right. that Russia is building an alliance with Iran to go nuclear. Joel, I... Um when I was about 30, I, I'm of German descent, and my family was over here in the 1800s, um, but it still bothered me that I, I might have family members that, that were over in Germany during World War II, and I've always wondered, did they know? When I was 30, I went and I bought Mein Kampf. When I read mm. that, I knew they knew. They might have been in denial, but they knew they were clear. Don't you right. feel that we're in that same thing? Everything that is coming, he is speaking it as plainly as Hitler did. We he know, really, don't we? He really is, yes. He is the new Hitler, and he's going to be a nuclear Hitler soon. Uh, I'm an evangelical Christian from an Orthodox Jewish heritage. My family actually escaped out of Russia in 1907 when the Tsar was wiping out the Jews. Uh, I believe, and I write about in Epicenter, that there are people who misunderstand the nature and threat of evil. But when they do that, uh, they risk being blindsided by that evil. We were blindsided by Auschwitz, by Pearl Harbor, by 9-11. God forbid that we are blindsided by an evil that is right in front of us, but Mike Wallace and so many uh, Western analysts and, frankly, in the Western media just don't see this guy as the threat, a nuclear threat, to our civilization, it's hard to imagine evil at that scale. Yeah, I don't think people really understand the, um, the religiosity of this man, and that's what commits him and should have him committed. Joel, thank you very much. The book thank is you, Epicenter. Glenn.